Welcome to our Swamp Girl Adventures how-to video. So in this video, we're going to cover how do you move a turtle or a tortoise out of the road safely. So first of all, we want to make sure that you are abiding by laws. Some states, they don't allow you to do any of that. Um, but we want to make sure those who can are able and you can safely stop and help an animal to know how to handle them properly to keep them safe and you safe. So you ready? Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is assess the situation. Is the turtle or tortoise injured or are they just trying to get across the road in the direction that they want to go? If they just need to get across the road in the direction they want to go, we want to make sure we just help them in that direction. Please do not put them in the back of your car and take them miles away. There's a lot of reasons why we want to, don't want to do that. And part of that is disease. Uh, another part is strong homing instincts with certain species. So again, let's just make sure we're helping them in the direction they need to go. So let's start with snapping turtles, shall we? Let's get snappy. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put her down. I know, all right. She's already agitated enough. But let's say we have the snapping turtle in the middle of a road, okay? And you wanna quickly get up there and obviously get this turtle without hurting yourself. So what we do is we're gonna take one hand on the back of the shell, lift gently, take your hand, slide underneath, and lift, kind of like lifting a pizza. Okay, so my hand is here on the back. My other hand is underneath so that my arms, my face, my everything is out of biting and scratch range. All right, I'm gonna try that one more time. You ready? Here we go. All right, so she's here. She's turning around. It's okay, we'll turn this way. All right, so I'm going to lift, lift, lift. There we go. Now we can move across the street safely, go on about your business, and then head back. So one of the things that you need to be aware of is a lot of times females in egg laying season, which here in Florida starts spring, summer, and even into fall, and some species even in the winter. So we have a lot of egg laying females. So they're going to be out, they're going to be crossing the road, and they're trying to go find a spot to safely lay eggs. So that's why we want to help them in the direction they're going. So here we have a Florida softshell turtle, and we're gonna do the same thing we did with the snapping turtle. It might be flexible and leathery underneath, but that doesn't mean you can't kind of lift underneath. So we're gonna lift, slide, and lift. There you go. So again, we are out of scratching and biting range of the turtle. We move in the direction that we need to go safely, Put the animal down, same thing, reverse, down, slide, back away. All set, okay? Turtle can go about her business. One more time with this one. Back, slide, up, and off we go. So to continue on, let's look at a different species. One that's not necessarily as bitey, that doesn't mean that they can't bite, but these guys can be a little easier to handle. This is a peninsula cooter, a very common turtle here in Florida, and also one that is known for laying their eggs twice a year, spring and also fall. So with that said, we see these guys a lot, right? Now, what we're gonna do is there's two options here. You can use the same method as before, where we just lift and slide, especially for a larger animal like this, and pick up, okay? Another option, but it also can get you scratched a little, but it's also, you know, not as troublesome, is to go ahead and grab from the side. But you're going to want to keep your fingers as close to the edges as possible to lift. That way there, the back legs don't kick you. Now, let's say that the turtle is injured. Hopefully, you have something like this. Some kind of container, box, blanket in your car, right? I love these. You know why? I'm ready to go, okay? Takes up very little room. So let's say you have an injured animal. You pop up your thing here, you can grab very quickly and easily, side in, done, okay? Nice and fast. If for some reason you don't have the container, but you realize this animal's injured and I need to get them some help and I have a container in my car, in that case, you can do the scoop method to keep your hands clear, scoop up and in the bin. 
that simple. Okay, so those are a couple different options. I've also heard people say that they can take the floor mat the, you know, from their car or a towel, lift the turtle onto it and drag it. Whatever it is that you have to do, so long as you can do it safely and keep yourself safe as well as the animal, go for it. Okay, all right, so we have a couple more species to go. Let's check it out. Okay, so here we have a box turtle, and we get this all the time. People will think that they're injured, but they actually have a hinged plastron, okay, at the bottom. So you see this right here? Watch this. See how it flexes and moves? That's normal for a box turtle. So it's not that this turtle has been injured, that's normal for them. The other thing that they will do is that, especially if they've been in a road, they get scared. What they do is box up. So they grab, take their um, legs and arms and their head, squeeze it in and close this up whoop, like a box. So you may see them in the road all boxed up, but that's okay. Move them in the direction they were going. They will calm down, unbox themselves and move on later. Okay. All right. Thank you. Now these guys, they're not usually very nippy. They're pretty easy. You just grab them from the back, pick them up and move them off. Nice and easy, right? You may little guys. All right, our last one, here we go. Okay, last but not least, we have here in Florida, the gopher tortoise, and they are a protected species. But guess what? If you're just trying to move them out of the road, nobody's gonna come with sirens to arrest you, okay? So it's all right, let's just get them out of the road safely if it's possible. So they're super easy. They're, they might hiss, okay, because they get scared. So you might hear a hissing sound and they might even pee, okay, because they get nervous, they might pee themselves. But otherwise, they're not biters, they're not like snapping turtles, all right? Super easy. One hand on each side, lift, hold it away from you so you don't get peed on, just in case, and walk, all right? That simple. These guys are the easiest ones to move, okay? So again, one hand on each side, boop, and lift, move it away from you for the pee, and move. All right, so that's just all you have to do. They are the super most easiest ones. And if they're injured, lift, place in a bin, and seek out a rehabilitator as soon as possible, okay? That's really important. Never try to rehabilitate an animal on your own. I hope you really enjoyed this video and learned something from it. As always, you're always welcome to ask questions anytime. Visit our website at swampgirladventures.org. And we want to stress the importance, especially with gopher tortoises and box turtles, they have strong homing instincts and research is being done about uh, snapping turtles and their homing instincts. So let's try to keep the animals where their home is, okay? And also look out for our next video, which is gonna give you tips on how to find where they came from and how do we get them back home? All right, till next time, we'll see you later.